What's going on, Portal Masters? Robert Walkner here from Coin Up TV. We're in Chapter Twelve, Mulliken Mountain, or Mulkin Mountain, however you pronounce that. Anyway, we're gonna do a walkthrough to help you find all the Skylanders collectibles, Skylanders Giants collectibles. So uh, here we go, playing as a Shroom Boom here. And uh, right when you start off the level, you just want to kind of creep around to the side, and you're gonna find a story scroll and uh, get the party started right off the bat there with the Trial of Wealth scroll. And then uh, not too far along, we're going to push some of these bricks. And uh, you're going to see if you push a brick onto that little um, side there, it'll open up this little luck Otron wheel that pops up. The wheel of experience. Definitely want to get all of those when you can. So further along, you're going to have to use a giant to do one of these feet of strength things. I'm using Tree Rex. They're all powered up. He looks pretty crazy. I like the little pose after he does the uh, feet of strength, and you'll see from across the bridge there, we got a treasure chest waiting for us to uh, open up and uh, score some awesome little magic there. And uh, yeah, I, what I was doing when I was working on my my Pop Fizz 101, so that's why I sort of swapped out Tree Rex so I can get some gold for Pop Fizz. Hopefully, you guys have seen my Tree Rex 101s, my Pop Fizz Skylander 101s. This is Punch Pop Fizz. That's why it's red with a little party hat on there so then uh, stay so then I went back to being a giant because I had to dive down here and smash in smash in through this little secret cave where there's uh, the dirt room <laughs> it looks pretty clean for the dirt room I had lots of jewelry and and money and gold and stuff down there so uh, also I was working my sh on my shroom boom Skylanders 101, so that's why I saw all this money. I thought, oh man, I gotta go in there and collect some of the dough. And uh, pretty good pretty good score for uh, what's hiding beneath there, including the, what's inside the chest also. All right. So then a little further along, you're gonna get to this area here where you're gonna have to drop down and go inside this little cave. And this area's a little long because I just want to kind of show you what to do here. You're going to have to go and turn or kind of pull on a little chain and it's going to sort of turn an area and then you're going to be able to go up and access another little secret area there. Um, also, I just want to give a little shout out to all you Portal Masters and say thanks a bunch for subscribing to my channel, youtube.com slash coinapptv. So here's the cogwheel. You got to go in there and hit uh, Y and that'll bring this uh, those sort of spin around this platform there that you can cross and when you go back upstairs. Also, if you guys are watching this video and you're enjoying um, my little mini commentary, these little walkthroughs, and you want to see more, uh, if you didn't know, I've actually went and done walkthroughs of the entire chapters, 1 through 16 of the entire game. So uh, hopefully you'll check those out. I'll have the links in the description, or you can find them on my channel. And uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of some of these videos, because I read all the comments, and I try and respond when I can. But, you know, if there's something you're like, hey, Rob, you know, how come you didn't do this? Or what do you think about that? Who's your favorite, you know, earth element or something? I try and respond back when I can. Or sometimes you guys in the comments will just respond to each other. And uh, that's kind of cool, too, to kind of get a little uh, Portal Master community sort of forming on my CoinUp TV YouTube channel. So that's really awesome. This fight's going on way too long. Uh, I don't know if I'm the master of Shroom Boom. You know, he's he's kind of like Zook. He's got the little mushrooms of plants and things that pop up as a shield. But Zook, he was pretty fast when when he fired off rockets. And Shroom Boom is uh, he's he's kind of fun and interesting, but he's really slow. Uh, you know, kind of reminds me of Wrecking Ball a little with you know the timing of of his attacks and stuff. All right, so then a little further along, I had to switch over the chop chop. There, we got a little uh, undead area that needed unlocking, and uh, I believe there's uh, some goodies in here. A lot of fire chompies or uh, and fuego chompies, whatever you call them. There, um, I don't use chop chop too often. You know, I've been kind of sticking to a lot of the new Skylanders, but it's kind of fun when you pick up some of the classic guys and. Uh, give them a little a little run through I, although this one is on level one I have a feeling I'm sort of you know kind of using a backup chop chop my, my normal one is uh, leveled up pretty high there <laughs> here we are just kind of wandering around I don't know you know the music and the uh, the scenery in here was just kind of creepy so I guess I was just kind of wandering around ch checking things out and uh, you know I thought it'd give me a little second to 
catch my breath and, uh, you know, just kind of let you guys uh, appreciate some of the cool hard work that Toys for Bob has been doing on this game. Oh, my gosh. Fall falling off during a walkthrough, a collection video that you guys are going to watch over and over again and tell your friends and link this to all your friends on Twitter and Facebook and, and whatever other social media outlets you, you use. Does anybody has to have a MySpace account or anything? Uh, there we go. We got a hat box waiting for us and a teleporter shortcut. There you go. That's awesome. And inside this hat box, all right, the safari. Well, it's sort of the battle helmet. Kind of looks a little like the safari hat. All right, so then a little further along, we're going to have to switch out and get a tech element. His Drobot, Lycor Drobot. Show you a little glow on his back there. You see the Lycors when you uh, put them on the portal power will sort of smash in and hurt the bad guys. So this is sort of underground. You go in this little cave, and there's going to be a winged sapphire in here to pick up inside the razor box. Watch out for the razors. And you definitely want to get all those winged sapphires so that you can get the discount on your upgrades. Okay, so then this is the, probably the hardest part here or an area that's really tricky. So to get out of this house, and it's just not really obvious to go right there and go to the teleporter, and I missed this a couple of times, this legendary treasure. So definitely all you gotta do is turn right, and Uric is there, and you can actually talk to Uric and buy stuff from behind like that, which I thought was kind of interesting. If you want to see more of that, you know, check check that out. My, my regular walkthrough videos and then here's some uh, an area here with lots of gears a little little bit of a puzzle nothing too difficult I know that that was cool we got the Spyro hat with this like a little the trucker hat with a Spyro on it as old school and then a little further along I'm using sprocket here there's some uh, some traps to sort of avoid but uh, a little further along you're gonna drop down and walk around to the left and you see that chest over there to get some more gold getting close to the end of the level so you know by now you should be thinking like alright you know chaos is you know we're gonna take on chaos soon this is chapter 12 you know there's only a few to go so you definitely want to level up get all the money you can and stock up on uh, all the all your weapons and stuff alright so here's a tricky tricky thing here you do this little puzzle and you get these boxes and then when you're done you fall down but before you fall down you want to push that brick so that you have two bricks right there so that you can get the soul gem and this the first time around I totally didn't do this and I thought oh my gosh I can't get back at all and um, so if you are watching my video and you're like man Rob how do you get that soul gem this, that's the trick. You got to make sure you push a, a little extra brick there. And there you go. And you definitely want to get the soul gem for Tree Rex because as you guys saw before when he's all powered up, he just looks completely insane and fun. So awesome. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, leave me a comment. Hit that like button. If you're not subscribed to my channel, youtube.com slash TV. Hit that subscribe button. And uh, we'll see all you Portal Masters in the next video. See you later.